and welcome to my channel, which you're probably viewing for the first time because I have very little to offer in the sense of videos otherwise. But today I have the iPhone 12 Pro in gold for your viewing pleasure. So if you appreciate my efforts in bringing you this new and exciting content, you can like and subscribe. If you would like to be notified once or twice a year or so when I post another most likely travel related video. So let's get to it. Here it is, the box. It's so thin. Now I'm going to assume as Apple does that this is not your first iPhone purchase. So you'll know that the box is considerably thinner than previous packaging. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing that is unless you actually are a first time iPhone purchaser, in which case you'll have a new phone, but you'll have nothing to charge it with. That's how they got these boxes to be so much smaller. Apple is no longer including a charging block in the box or the headphones. It's for the environment, right? Not a bad thing. I love the attention that Apple puts into every design element, right down to the box. The look of it, the feel of it, how smoothly it opens. Let's do that again. How smoothly it opens. You can tell they were thinking of every element of user experience when opening your new iPhone. Personally, I don't particularly mind that they've eliminated the extras. I mean, while it's always nice to have an extra charging block, the headphones definitely did go into a tangled box of extras and never saw the light of day after I opened my iPhone box. So I certainly don't need another pair of those and thumbs up to Apple for um, eliminating that the headphones. Moving on. I am upgrading from a gold iPhone 11 Pro, which I have thoroughly enjoyed and which I will at some point show you while it's not currently being used to film this video. And there it is. I've been really excited to see what the gold iPhone Pro looks like this year and wow, it really is gorgeous. This is the new stainless steel squared off industrial design, similar to the iPhone 4 and 5 generation. So for all you people holding, still holding on to your iPhone 4s, this will feel very comfortable to you. The gold is really a true gold. And while I don't mind the rose goldy look of the iPhone 11, this one looks very striking. Okay, let's see what else is in this box. We get a cable. And it's a USB-C lightning cable. And these are very handy to have. I don't actually have a lot of these. <laughs> Interestingly enough though, I don't actually have a lot of chargers that work with the USB-C cable. In fact, the USB-C cable charging block only started coming with the iPhones in the last 11 release. So I got one with my iPhone 11 and then I got one uh, with the, the iPad as well. But I think I only have one left now because I one of them um, we lost while we were traveling. This is the this is the iPhone, the, the USB-C charging block in case you're unfamiliar with how that looks. So it might have made more sense actually for Apple to include the charging blocks for two to three years <laughs> instead of just one year. But hey, it's for the environment. So the cable and the instructions are the only other things besides the iPhone in the new iPhone box. Uh, with the instructions comes the handy SIM card remover tool. It's very helpful. And they have still included, as always, the Apple sticker. Not sure what you're all doing with those, but it's nice to have the option. So let's take a closer look at this phone. 
Here's the iPhone 11 Pro in gold, and here is the iPhone 12 Pro side by side. And now let's see if it matches my watch. So I'm really excited to start using the iPhone 12. All the new phones have 5G, which living in a big city, I should have access to immediately. Some of you might have to wait a little bit longer, but 5G is the wireless solution of the future. So if you're looking to buy one of these iPhones and hold on to it for a while, you definitely want to get the 12 with the 5G. The display on the 12 and the 12 Pro is an OLED 6.1 Super Retina display, and they have packed as many pixels into this display as they possibly can. It has HDR, True Tone, and Haptic Touch. Haptic Touch is that cool feature where when you press on a button, it feels like you're pressing on a button, even though it's actually just a vibration in the phone itself. They also have this new ceramic shield that makes the iPhone much less resistant, much more resistant <laughs> to being cracked or scratched, which I think is amazing. A cracked screen is the exact reason why I'm a true believer in getting Apple Care for your phone. It is just a terrible thing when something as beautiful as one of Apple's iPhones has a cracked screen or shattered glass or a chip or anything like that. And it's so nice that they've made that much harder to do. I mean, it's just wrong when an Apple phone has a cracked screen. This phone is able to be submerged in six meters, translation, 18 feet of water for up to 30 minutes. So if you're one of those people that's had an unfortunate toilet accident, you'll definitely be able to definitely have enough time to fish out your phone before it is uh, compromised by the water situation. And you can watch 17 hours of video before the battery dies. You will definitely be able to get through all of my videos on this channel before that happens. iPad already has LiDAR, which greatly enhances your artificial reality experience. It's great. But I'm really excited about it on the iPhone because it also enhances night mode on all of your cameras. LiDAR doesn't need light to focus. Um, which makes night mode that much more effective. Meaning when you're taking out your camera in this low light situation, because there's LiDAR on there, you'll be able to focus on your subject much more quickly than you were able to do before. And night mode is on all cameras, even the front facing ones, which obviously we use those a lot more at night or maybe we don't, but it's nice to have the option. Also, Unlocking your phone in the middle of the night is going to be much easier with that LiDAR scanner. For video, Apple has brought HDR with Dolby Vision at 60 frames per second to the Pro, which sounds like I'm going to be able to shoot theater-ready video on the fly, and I can't wait to try that out. So all these amazing new upgrades and what is powering all of this, you ask? Well, the A14 Bionic chip, of course. Now, there are a lot of super technical reasons why this chip is so great, and I'm not gonna go into too much detail about that here, but I will say that the new A14 Bionic chip is 40% faster than the A13, which was included in the iPhone 11. The iPhone 11's experience has been one of the most seamless that I've ever experienced, so the fact that this one's 40% better and faster is incredible to me. This phone's gonna be lightning fast with this new chip. Worth noting, the Pro starts out at 128 gigs of storage, as compared to the regular 12, which starts out at 64. We purchased 512. And because who wants to run out of storage when you're taking a great video? We also got the MagSafe charger, which arrived before the phones. And uh, so I, I won't be unboxing it for you here because we, we've been playing with it. It happens to charge the old iPhones. It charges AirPo AirPods. It does not charge the watch though. So just be aware of that. The MagSafe charger charges at 15 watts as compared to the five watts that you'll get out of any of those wall block chargers. Very fast. And 
If you didn't already know this, the new iPhone 12, all of them have a magnet built into the phone. So it actually locks into place on a charger like this. They really think of everything. So there's your unboxing of the new lovely gold iPhone 12 Pro with a few fast facts for you about what makes it tick. I hope you've enjoyed this video and will become one of my select few and loyal followers. Thanks for watching and let me know in the comments below what your reactions are to the new phone or the new box in 2020.